A church that's been standing in Savannah since the late 1800s is now being demolished. It's Bethel AME Church on East Broad Street. That's just outside of Savannah's historic district. WSAD's Brian Ray is joining us live tonight with reaction from the community. Tina, this is the closest we could get to the church, but take a look behind me. I know it's kind of hard to see in the dark, but you can see the entire back part of the building is now gone. A church that dates back to 1879, now in piles of rubble. What this represents is just the erasure of African American history in a rapidly developing Savannah. Leaders with the historic Savannah Foundation say they were frustrated and saddened when they found out the church is being torn down. While they knew of the building, leaders say they didn't know about its code violations and demolition. The church sits a block outside of the city's historic district. Ryan Arbe with the foundation argues if it was located just a block over, it would have been protected. I think what this whole thing does is it raises a bigger question about what uh, in Savannah uh, deserves to be preserved. Um, this building, just by virtue of where it was located, was deemed non-important. And of course, that couldn't be further from the truth. Historians believe Bethel AME played a role in Savannah's civil rights movement in the 50s and 60s. It's history, um, not only within the African American community, but but perhaps even the the greater civil rights history, um, is 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 gone. Seeing the mounds of wood and bricks hits home for those who once found solace inside these walls. Among them, State Senator Lester Jackson, who first walked into Bethel AME at 12 years old. This is a somber moment for uh, many of us because we're not only losing next structure. We're losing part of history. Arbe says if the historic foundation knew about the demolition plans, they could have stepped in to find another solution. We, if we continue to tear down um, significant African-American cultural centers, we lose our own history. One of the most fr preservation friendly cities in America, and yet things like this are still happen. We need to do better. A spokesperson for the city says the property is privately owned and not by the city. We are working to contact the owner to find out future plans for the site, and we'll let you know as soon as we know them. Live in Savannah, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3 on your side.